Bounce back tonight against a Canadian team that's fresh, but they're going to have to put an effort in. I mean, they are secured in the quarterfinals, but where do they want to be is the question. Well, this is a bit of a change we did not expect to see. It'll be Matthew Cross in the net. Niels Reeson came out, led the team out in pregame skate, and took the net first in warm-ups, but it's going to be Matthew Cross getting the start. So that is a change compared to what the lineup sheet said and what we saw in pregame. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's going to be Thomas Millich in net for Canada. And, boy, Cross was not expecting to start, and all of a sudden he's going up against the juggernaut. Well, it's going to be tough for me. He has played in this term. He came in relief again, the loss against Belarus for the Swiss. Gave up three goals on the 25 shots that he saw in that one. And then here's Thomas Millish, the Seattle Thunderbird netminder. Started game one for Canada. Looked pretty good. I mean, obviously didn't have a whole lot of work against the Swedes, but saw him to make 29 saves despite Canada. Playing tonight, I think his coach is sending a message about plays that can affect your team. Yeah, that's going to be a tough loss. Now we'll see how the Swiss are able to bounce back here tonight. Brian Zanetti dumps it. Bedard will keep it in. McTavish goes to the middle with a power move that's deflected away and again. Clark. Gunther. Rishot scores. Dylan Gunther from the left circle goes top shelf and Canada leads one to nothing. Well, the amount of chances Gunther was getting on that first power, but I thought it's only destined before he actually got it around the body. We saw Zanetti with a great shot block just before that, but this time Clark shifting to the right. That opens up that weak side, and Gunther just lets it rip off the bar and in. Beautiful shot there by Gunther. That is his second goal of the tournament, and a big one here as it breaks the ice here against the Swiss. Very similar place we saw Klimovich score against the Swiss. Left circle, up tight. Upstairs. Left circle and also the guy up top, which for Allen. Centering pass. Stankoven puts it over the top. Hard angle shot by Stankoven. Hits the side of the net. Canada with the pressure. Centering pass. Bedard shoots and scores. Connor Bedard gets his first goal as a member of Team Canada. And I guarantee you it won't be his last. 2-0. This line has been effective, to say the least. Great forecheck, great pressure, just keeping it down low. Stankoven and Johnson doing the work. Johnson able to find a way to pull it out of there. Stankoven gets it out in front, and Bedard finds that sweet spot. The Swiss got puck watching, and you got you got to be on your head on a swivel when 17's on the ice for Canada. His first, it's 2-0. Connor Bedard, the first player in the history of the Western Hockey League to be granted an exemption to play at a younger age, part of Team Canada. He is not eligible until 2023 for the back to Coolamans. Up high, Zellweger. Canada with control of the puck. Pinelli. One timer, Pinelli blocked in front, rebound. And Cross somehow gets a piece of that or hits a body in front and pounces on the puck in the crease. Home Richard, and this is how the first period will come to an end. Boy, a late, late crack check there by Biasca. Not sure what he was trying to prove there, but luckily for him, it is not the fourth penalty of the first period for Switzerland. Well, I'm pretty sure just the way that period started to kind of snowball for the Swiss, coming out only down by two. There? There's been a lot of people. Him and Shane Wright probably will be on that roster next year at Edmonton. All right, second period about to get underway. Count of the going right to left. And once again... And with the long skate, here comes Canada. the long skate off the bench. It's Bedard into the slot. Bedard shoots right on, and the save by Cross, and there is no rebound. Dionicio can't clear it for the Swiss. It's Zellweger capturing at the blue line. Long wrist shot, hits the post, rebound on the goal. Francesco Pinelli picks up the rebound after it hits the iron, and it is 3-0 Canada. I don't think Cross even saw that point shot from Zellweger, the way he reacted. Great tip in front by Jilkin. You'll see it here. Zellweger puts one through, and oh yeah, it was Jilkin, a beautiful tip, went off the post, and a good job following on up there is Pinelli. The very, I'm pretty sure Jilkin will probably say, I meant to do that. Nice tip, though, and that's what made Cross unable to catch the puck to begin with. Look at here. Yeah, that he looked like he's going to simply block it away, but Jilkin's able to just reach the stick out, and... Probably a half half on purpose, half on accident tip. But he's Zellweger's shot, saved by Cross. 
Kruleman centering pass to Flex. Shot toward the net, and it's another goal for Pinelli. Canada with their second power play goal of the night. Pinelli with the second goal of the period. It's 4 0. Once again, great puck movement here by the Canadian power play. This is actually their second unit, believe it or not, but just looks as good as the first. Unable to clear it as it kind of went in the feet there of Pochard. It bounced right back out in front. Bad bounce there for the Swiss, but Pinelli buries it back to back goals for Pinelli. The, like we mentioned, the Kitchener Ranger had a goal and two assists against the Swedes, and now already two goals here early in the second period. Of Canada, and they lead four to nothing. Mason McTavish, headman pass to Gunther in, and a save by Cross, and he holds on. Back certainly gets. But Canada with four tired players, puck through the middle, drop pass to Zellweger, and the net comes off its moorings, and that may have been a goal saver. Chuag goes wide. Hard angle shot stopped by Milic as the second period comes to an end. Well, Canada was able to double their lead in period number two. Francesco Pinelli followed by Francesco Pinelli. Number nine for Team Canada. Well, the game in the first goes eight nothing, so this probably was an upgrade. Well, there's obviously a lot of them. Here's one of them. Here comes Benjamin Brugro with a shot right on and a save by Milic. That may be the best chance of the night for Switzerland with a shot on net. Harrison goes to the net. Nice save by Cross. Stankhoven with a steal. Logan Stankhoven saved by Cross. Out of the zone. Drop pass. Stankhoven wrist shot right on. Another save this time with a combination of the blocker and the glove. And Cross gets another whistle. Racing rounds. Connor Roulette gets it right side. Centering pass back to Roulette. And another save by Cross. And he holds on. That was an oct. Guillaume Richard with 10 on the power play to Zellweger. Pinelli, pass through the middle, shot and a goal right in the middle of the slot area. Canada gets another goal. It's Brett Brennan Othman, and it is five to nothing Canada. The Flint Firebird gets loose in the slot. Not quite the high bumper that Othman is, but he comes down, nice little play, Pinelli. Finds him right there in the high slot. Trying to work him off the puck was Tyvel, but I think Cross may have been screened on that one. Good job there. Staying in front was Chase Steelman, the Sudbury Wolf. Just good movement here by the second power play, who now has two of Canada's three power play goals. Bixell will keep it in. Nice move. Big man wrist shot right on. Rebound right through the middle, and they cannot put it in. Oh, that's as close as the Swiss has come tonight, and they couldn't put it the last 10 inches. Hello everyone, this is Duke Sports Editor just sneaking in, and what a disappointment. Um, the stream froze on me, so there you have it. This is your Canada versus Switzerland highlights. I was not able to catch the last five minutes of the third period, so we missed two goals in total in this game. Remember to post your hateful comments down below. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. So thanks everyone, this was Duke Sports Editor talking, I can assure you that there will be videos tomorrow. As I'm finishing this video, it's 1am, so I need to catch some Z's. Thumbs up everyone, bye bye.